Alright, video number two. I'm going to go over some of these comments here. Fred says, yes, I was laughing about how you said Yeshua Himeshi. The way you pronounced it, it was butchered and hilarious, yes. But yes, it is not a word for Jesus used by proper Christians. The word in the Bible is Jesus. His name is Jesus. If you're using another name, that reveals a lot about who you are, doesn't it? And obviously I contend, I've contended number numerous times. If you don't like the word Jesus and you're using a different name, that to me that that reveals to me that you hate the name Jesus. And there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So to me I can only view you as an enemy of Jesus when you refuse to use his name. That's how that's my opinion. All right, thanks for that, Fred. Appreciate that. Yeah, I can't say those goofy, goofy words, and I'm not, I'm not going to talk about that no more. But thanks for sharing your testimony. Appreciate your making videos on these topics. Thanks, William. I appreciate that. Uh, and this gentleman here, I think he just reaffirms. Uh, Unless I misunderstood something, he's just reaffirming what I'm talking about in this video here, that you are saved by grace through faith and not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Very simple gospel message. It's not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. And if, and if, you, if you don't mind. All right, so uh, you think about the creation. The, the God created everything in six days. And then on the seventh day, he rested. So also today, Jesus Christ has done all the work for us. Now all we have to do is put our rest in him. Okay, moving on. This fellow says here, angels can have sex, Genesis 6, 4. Well, what, what are you talking about? That's not what... Genesis 6 4 says there were giants in the earth in those days and also after that when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men and they bare children to them the same became mighty men which were of old men of renown so we don't see anything at all about angels having sex there have you ever read Genesis 6 would be my first thought I mean you just told a lie you opened up your statement with a lie why Either you're lying or you just don't know what Genesis 6 4 says. But they are not given into marriage, like it was said. Oh, I see. So you're saying the Bible's wrong, and everybody has to trust you to know what God really says. You're saying God's wrong. The the one that created heaven and earth and and every man, woman, and child on earth. God is wrong. The creator is wrong, and you're right. Boy, the and boy, that's not arrogant. Okay, so what's verse two? I mean, this is what I mean. Okay, so he says, but they are not given into marriage, like it was said. I mean, it's as if you've never read Genesis six, and and I just wonder, you know, when you hear so many people talking about Genesis six. And I get the impression that they've never read it. Or perhaps they've read it. And it's like it says here in the New Testament, even today when Moses is read, you know, what's that verse here? Even unto this day when Moses is read, the veil is upon their heart. You understand what that means? Of course, if the veil is over your heart, you're not going to know what it means. Um, nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. Okay, and I love this verse. Now the Lord is that spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. All right, so, again, verse 2. Let's, in case you forgot already, he says, They are not given into marriage. Yet, verse 2 says, The sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair, and took them wives of all which they chose. Wives. That means they had more than one wife. 
and that means they were given in marriage. And he, you know, he's got to throw that caveat in there because he knows darn well the angels don't marry. All right, and you know, in case you don't know what the Bible says, like this gentleman here, let's see what the Bible, oops, says about angels marrying. For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. So, right there, clearly, angels do not marry. So in verse 2, we see that these people, the sons of God, did marry. And they not only married, they had multiple wives. Wives. You know what the word wife, wife means, or wives? There's wife, singular, wives, plural, right? Multiple wives. So this guy, wow, I mean, gee whiz. The woman was made for man. Which is why what the fallen angel did was sin, and there was, there are no female angels for obvious reasons. So, no one for them to marry in heaven, and no reason to do so. Also, read Jude one six and seven. All right, so it seems like I'm. If I've already commented on this, if I've already responded to this comment, I apologize. If female angels, what are you talking about? If angels aren't born with peepees or weewees. So you're suggesting that angels are born with peepees, but they're not born with wee wees. Uh, <laughs> that's boy, that's just a perverted gospel or perverted I don't know, doctrine, whatever you're teaching there. That's unbelievable, really. What's Jude one six seven say? All right. So if you just read those two verses, then you wouldn't understand the whole context of the uh, entire book of Jude, if you will. But let's even just read those two verses. And the angels was kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation. He has reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication, going after strange flesh, are set forth as for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. All right, now I've seen people, and you're probably trying to trick somebody. All right, let's confuse these two and trick people into thinking this is talking about angels having sex. It's not, not at all, not even close. And it's, it reveals to me that you have no idea what verse 7 is talking about. It's as if you've never read the Bible, you have no understanding whatsoever, and you're just flat out lying. You're making stuff up just to, produce, uh, just to uh, push this doctrine of angels having sex. It's not honest. All right? And uh, you've heard me say many times, just be honest. Whether you're right or wrong, be honest with what you believe. All right? and But you're not being honest with what the Bible says. There's the difference, right? So when it's talking about Sodom and Gomorrah and them giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, it's not talking about angels, it's talking about the perverts of Sodom and Gomorrah. That's clearly uh, referenced in the Old Testament. Uh, it's not talking about angels. They tried to have sex with the angels. It wasn't the angels trying to have sex with the men of Sodom and Gomorrah. You're, you're either ignorant or you're just flat out lying. That's your only two options as I see it. All right, so that drives me nuts. I mean, just read the Bible before you make an opinion if you're that far off. And that's ridiculous. Anyway, we are the children of, dis, of the disobedient angel, premier. I have no idea what you're talking about. I, Angel Premier? Let's see here. It should be enough to get us to what we want, and no, nothing. You're just making stuff out of thin air. All right. Please elaborate on that, if that's a typo or something. All right, then. Uh... So God created Adam separately and different, and people different? No, no, no. I guess I'm out of time, but uh, no. I don't know what you're talking about.